Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Yes, uh, fellow Cleveland Browns lover. I saw the show, and I think you guys misunderstood my last question about Joe Wood. I said, yes, he needs to be fired, but I didn't say, like, right now. I meant, like, after the season. Who would you want to see at the defensive coordinator for the Cleveland Browns? A lot of people keep going around saying, oh, Miles is going to leave. He's going to leave. I doubt it. We signed him to an extension. It's very unlikely that we were going to get rid of one of the best defensive players in the league. I think a lot of people seem to misunderstand that, one, he came back from a horrific car accident. Two, he's in pain and they're double teaming him every time we we play our opponent. I just want you guys' thoughts on that. One more thing, what is your thought on Deshaun Watson so far? I feel like he's going to be really good. I want to see some linebackers for the second round and I want us to have a premier wide receiver for him. I want the Browns to make a huge trade, and I want them to get D.K. Metcalf because, if you remember correctly, we had a chance to get D.K. Metcalf, but we ended up trading the pick to get Odell Beckham Jr. I just want you guys to start. Go Browns. Woof, woof. As always, appreciate all of them. A lot in there. So, um, G. Bush, I've been on the record as saying I want a guy that is an, is a veteran. I, I don't want a younger defensive coordinator. Uh, like a Mike Zimmer type, there there may be other ones, uh, but somebody that has had some even some head coaching experience, almost like a Bill Callahan on the defensive side of the ball. Somebody that Kevin Svansky can say, take care of the defense, and and uh, and you know I can go from there. I like I like Brian Flores a lot. Yeah, Got head coaching experience. Yep, uh, he's aggressive. Uh, I like guys with a different demeanor. I believe if you're going to have a Kevin Stefanski on the offensive side of the football, you know what you need? You need a guy that has that nasty dog attitude. And you watch what the what the Dolphins used to do when under Flores. You know what he got? He got nine, ten dudes at the line of scrimmage. I know for a fact he'll put them in a position where Denzel Ward can play aggressively. Miles Garrett is going to be able to play uh, aggressively. I like what he's able to bring to the table as far as that. I like his, as well. I like Zimmerman, but he's with Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, then plucked him out of the way uh, and took him to Colorado, so he off the table. But there's a lot of other guys out there that that would be great. Um, you know, and, and I knew we we knew Kevin Stefanski wasn't going to move on from Joe Woods. That's not his his mantra. I think people got to realize in the coaching profession. Coaches are very um, loyal to their staff. They brought him in there. Um, he's not going to move and fire a guy uh, by the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> it just ain't happy. No. Like, hey, Joe, yeah, come on in here real quick. We, yeah, yeah. Hey, happy Hanukkah, happy uh, Kwanzaa, and, and happy Merry Christmas, but we got to get rid of you and keep it moving. And based on the conversations that his defensive assistant, his, 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 his defensive backs coach said, there ain't really nobody they can switch it to. <laughs> no, He's talking no. about it. We had a good time. We had a tough time adjusting. No, that, that's not the guy we want no. moving no. into that role. Uh, in terms of the DK Metcalf stuff, I mean, it's kind of tough. We already under the cap a little bit. Plus, we, we don't have first-round picks for a couple of years. So, I, I, I don't think a DK Metcalf is going off the board for like a fourth and a fifth and some points like, uh, some 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 cash money like that's not is that on top of deals that's not gonna work. So you might have to go in the draft and develop somebody and be um and, and earn your money, Andrew Barry. But DK Metcalf is uh, that's a that's a that's a far shot. Yeah, I don't I don't see that either. I, you got Amari Cooper, and I don't think you're gonna get. I don't think you're bringing in anybody above him. But you do probably need another veteran to, to go with Cooper and DPJ. Guy. Yeah, yeah, I would oh, agree. You need some speed. Yep, somebody to get some separation because he, it, yep. Deshaun Watson will throw the deep ball if he if he has uh, somebody that uh, separates.